Please tell me your name. My name is Chachan. His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. Do you give your permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use this interview? Yes. Thank you for offering to share your story with us. During this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. Okay. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, please let me know. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? Yes. Um, and so what we will do is that we will give you a pseudo name to okay. protect your identity. Okay. We are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Thank you. Thank you. So let us begin by uh, you by your telling me uh, where uh, you what area you were born in Tibet. What was the province? Utsang. In Utsang. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how many people were in your family? Five of us. Five. Mm -hmm. And who were they? Mother? Yeah, parents and brother and sister. And brother and sister. And myself. And where were you uh, in the lineup of, of siblings? Which one? Oh, I'm the youngest. You were the youngest? Yes. <laughs> you had an older brother? And an older sister. And an older sister, yeah. I see. Okay. And, and um, what did your family do for a living? Farmer. They were farmers. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, how, was it uh, a small farm or large? A small. Small farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, after cultural revolution, or they it's divided enough. all farmers to every family. You know, each people get a little small, not really big. Farms. After the revolution, mm -hmm. the Chinese invasion. Yeah. Everybody got. A little piece. Yes. A redistributed. A redistributed uh -huh. land. I see. And did you go to school or were you only a farmer's child? I went to school in the village school. Yeah. And my father doesn't trust Chinese school. Yes. And then he didn't send me to school. Uh -huh. And uh, I waited in the, my village school. He didn't leave me in my home. He sent me to school. I'm not there, no student because I already graduated my, uh, I think it's a kindergarten or we call it the village school. KG. KG. Kindergarten. kindergarten. Yes. And uh, that teacher is uh, from village. He knows well. Uh, and uh, my father was a monk. Your father. And uh, he doesn't trust Chinese uh, school. That's why he didn't send me to school. Uh -huh. That time. Uh, not that good idea, I think. They should send us to school, but he didn't send. Uh, and then he sent me to the monastery, but my brother sister didn't get chance to go to school. Because my brother also did send village school, and then my father doesn't want to send him to a bigger school, most like Chinese, you know. And then he skipped. He went to other middle school. He did? Yeah. And, uh, and later that, he didn't send to continue to high school and college. He stopped, he um, sent to the, my uncles to study car carpentry. Carpentry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mean to say like in the village, the teacher was from their own village. So his father trusted them. Yeah. After the KG, they were not sent to the Chinese school because he do not trust the Chinese mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what happened to your father and why he was no longer a monk? Um, yeah. After the Cultural Revolution, no one can stay with uh, being monk. Mm -hmm. right? How long had he been a monk at that point? I'm not really sure exactly, but... Um, I think 10 or 15 years really? he stayed in the monastery. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he had to keep up 
most monks uh, have to give up. Did he, uh, was, was he uh, just forced to leave? Was he put in jail or did anything happen to Not him? No jail. No jail? No jail, yeah. Mm -hmm. He just left? Because just left, but and then when you get in the village, you, you cannot stay in the, with the more rope and you cannot stay single. You have to marry. Mm -hmm. That I heard about All that the because are closed. I heard about that from my teacher and from my father. I wasn't there at that time. Ah, uh -huh, you heard about it. Yeah. The monasteries were closed, yeah, closed, and your father had to leave, uh -huh. and you couldn't wear robes in the village. Yeah, when I was a kid, <clears throat> you know, my monastery is a, a big statue, and they, they destroyed most precious. Um, statue, all everything, and they used a uh, building for the granary. And uh, you know, that time they took uh, all farmers, like together, all the like, farmers work together collectively? Yeah. yeah, and then you have to take all uh, products. products to the uh, storage. That storage is in the granary, is a monastery. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, this is just a suggestion to the uh, uh, interpreter. When you speak up, say it loudly because you don't have a mic on. Okay, and I okay. want to make sure right. you're recording it. Maybe you want to move a little closer. Okay. That'd be good. So it's not background we, mm -hmm. if, if you're helping with it. That's very good. So, did you did you see any of the monasteries uh, or any of the statues being destroyed? Yes, that's what I'm going to tell. Tell me. Um, yeah, then they took a uh, product to the uh, granary, and the, uh, that's in my monastery. And then on uh, my father took me there. They didn't clean up, and uh, my big statue, Shakyamuni, is open the stomach. It's all mantras uh, mixing with the barley and uh, wheat and everywhere. My father was very sad. I'm just kids, you know, I don't know much. But still, a strange feeling. I still remember that when I opened that uh, temple, one big statue. We had that statue, uh, I think three stores statue. They thought there's in the stomach there's a precious stone or that's why they opened or all, you know, we consecrate the statue. There's the most mantras yes. and the rolling on the paper, but that's all come out everywhere. What was, what was inside the statue? And the mantra, most the mantras. rolling, print mantra on the paper and the roll, and then that's the we consecrate to. Yes. Then that's all come out. As a, I don't know much, but still feeling, I still remember. Yes. Uh, and my father, he was a monk, then he's really respect. He stopped me in, uh, how to say, uh, stepping on it. And just see, I still can see that. After that, many years, I entered a monastery, then we, rest, we did the restoration. And you restore. did restoration yeah. later. Good, well, we'll hear about that. Yeah. But the, the image of the broken statue yeah. of the Buddha. Yeah, Buddha is the center, is all uh, faces, to find all stomachs. Sort of what was the statue out. made of? Clay. Of clay. Yeah. And around there's the eight bodhisattvas. Uh -huh. Some of them missing arm. It's just looking so weird. You know. So it looked, you were very sad. Yeah, some of them head off, some of them no uh -huh. arm, some of the finger broken. They didn't destroy it completely. Yeah. Good. But they desecrated. Yeah. It was a lot of destruction. Destruction and yeah. desecration, making um, it trying to make it very unholy. Yeah. And uh, was this a large monastery? Uh, how, but how... Yeah, know, pretty big monastery. Pretty big. How many, about how many monks would have lived in that monastery? Uh, um, before Chinese come, we, I heard they said that we had 350. 300? Yeah, 350. 350 yeah. monks in Around, that? Um, monks. Um, in, in that monastery. What about, um, so there was a lot of destruction of the statues. What about Tonka paintings? Were there any destroyed or defaced? When I entered that 
time in that temple, not Tangapindu, all gone. That's maybe way later, you know, I was uh, maybe six, seven years old. Uh -huh. When you saw this? Yeah, when I saw this. Uh -huh. and, and, and also mural paintings are the damaged, you know, or mm -hmm. some with the wat uh, water leaking I and see. some of them people throw rocks and a lot of damage. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And some of them they cover with the uh, newspaper, you know, mm. and with the strange the glass glue. Windows. Covered with newspaper. Yeah. Because and glass are broken. Because the some, glass was broken? Yeah, some tem uh, rooms they used for the cows, how to say that, barn or, and then there's also, you know, cows and donkeys. Yeah. And then the, you can see the, uh, how is it? Cow dung mm -hmm. yeah, on the, also on the mirror painting. That's, uh, oh, yeah. Very, very sad destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And defacing. Yeah, also this is very later, you know, way later when I was, I remember those things. Yes. That time is much worse, I think. At that time, it was. Well, more they destroyed. That time was much worse, but one of the. During the revolution, it was worse than what he have seen. Mm -hmm. He have seen these years and years after. after. Yeah. And he say like when he remembers all the Tanka paintings were already removed and gone, disappeared. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, just to clarify, you're 44 years old now. Mm -hmm. So that, so if you were born in like 1969, yeah. and about how old were you when you saw that? I think uh, six or seven. Six or seven, okay. So, really yeah, be. yeah. Uh, so, so, so that would have been 76, about 1976. Yeah. Mm -hmm, you were like seeing, that, yeah. and you're right, the Cultural Revolution was, in was starting in the late, in the 50s and then after that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was a good 20 some. And uh, also, one interesting thing is, uh, you know, as all some kids when we were school, as uh, some kids bringing statue or those vajra bells and just sort some, some toys. When I got one nice small Tara, I don't know, that time I don't know any Buddhism, they're destroying, you cannot talk about those things. And uh, my friend brought uh, one, our uh, schoolmate, kid, bought nice and green Tara. I still have it in my, with me. And uh, he said, that's interesting, I don't know who this statue is, but, and uh, his, that guy's boy said, I want to exchange this with the, a bottle of ink. He's looking ink. I don't know, this is my karma, or I'm so interested in it. I, I had also, I'm so lucky, I had one uh, bottle of ink that I treated. <laughs> I still have that, I still remember that. That little damage on top uh, crown, mm -hmm. but little bit damage, but still very good. Um, and then one day my father asked my uncle to, they took also mantra out or something, and then my father asked my uncle to do uh, consecrate again. Yeah. Uh -huh. The statue was very old. Really? One last time, Swiss, Naze Nimbushim Jujini Karsadu. Naze Nimbushim Jujini Dinadwa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who do like research on antique and give the dating, like the data carbon dating. Data carving, something like yeah. that. Yeah, and he said this is a very old wow. statue. And what was it made of? Zijim Lagar Sura. Brown. It's a mixed uh, bronze, copper, and some other like. They said this is uh, uh, five jewels mixed, then they made. As a sort of five different stuff. metals. Five with, metals. Five metals, and, uh, yeah. What did, how, how old was it when they dated the statue? How old? He said it's like 700 years old. Wow. The statue. I still have that. And then my uncle, he wanted to keep it. And I said, no, this is I bought it. When I was like, I should keep this. This I, is my ink bottle. This <laughs> is my ink bottle. Yeah. Trade. <laughs> ink. My very good trade. Yeah. This was your karma. Uh, and the, they say, you know, I want one of the kids also, one with the Jinsei fire puja, there's some true, it's, it's, how do you say, and the whole 
then they pour the oils down. I still remember I play, play with that. You know, put the mud and the water, I put string and drag. We don't have any toys. I use those toys. In this day, if we have that, very expensive. <laughs> that time is just give them a toy. So what he mean to say is like uh, that, you know, during that after the Cultural Revolution? Yeah. So all the religious object and all those things have never been respected. Yeah. So, you know, religion is almost like a, no movements there. So mm -hmm. children have started using these religion objects as a toy to play. Mm -hmm. You know, when you said your father had been a monk for maybe 15 years, yeah. and uh, he certainly didn't trust the, the, the communists, the Chinese schools, mm -hmm. but did he, was he able to tell you anything about Buddhism, about the Dharma? I don't remember when I was kids. When uh, I see his, what he's doing, I remember now. What was he doing? Like, you know, in other kids, you know, they destroy our out form, like, but they cannot change mine. And then he's uh, really in the deep practice. There's a lot of other kids, they kill animal, they, you know, slingshot, yeah. they kill bird, and um, I cannot do that at all. Because I don't know any Buddhism that uh, non virtual at all, but my father's, how to call it? Very strict. Yeah. And, uh, in my life, I remember I only shot one bird, that's all. Some other, my friend, likes shooting, you know, in the summer there's some, on the farm there's some uh, birds damaging. I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know why I didn't kill much animal, because my father. His influence. Yes, his influence. Do so it was, so that he time, He cannot talk, because if you tell that, he have to go to jail, because this he did. You cannot tell. He will be accused preaching the Buddhism. Right. So by his behavior yeah. and his uh, uh, example, mm -hmm. he, he said he don't. He doesn't say any explanation, but he just, uh, uh, how to say, Shinagu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. scared them, you know, not to kill and all those things. He, he said, don't kill, don't hurt, yeah, don't, don't harm. Hurt another, he yeah. didn't say why. Yeah. He was teaching yeah. you that. But it, it, it influenced you mm -hmm. a great deal. I see. I know his uh, sort of regret. He gave up monk, you know. That's why he really wanted to send me to the monastery. He wanted you to have the values. Yes. Uh, to instill the values uh -huh. of, of what he and learned. That, also, I remember that when I was young, he said he gave up everything. You know, he wanted to go like Miller Rebel. I don't know, he can be like that also. He wanted to go just uh, back and then he wanted to go ever just to Togor Negros and that's the Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Did he and, where did uh, he then, go? Uh, my mom and my sister is much older than me, you know, my sister. They cried, they couldn't let him go. That's so sad. Oh, oh! You mean not when not when he was a young man, but after he married, after he married and he after, was a father. Yeah, I remember that. He wanted to go on a pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. Pilgrimage and to give up everything. Give up, yeah. He, he doesn't want, want to come back. And he didn't. He wanted to go whole life to practice. Yeah. Then my father, mom, and the sister cried that he couldn't let him go. Anyway, he's I know he's deeply practicing all the time. Yeah. He never heard anybody, you know. So he never anymore. went. He never left the family. No, that he didn't. Left he didn't the leave. Family, yeah. He stayed home to take care. Yeah. Do you remember how, uh, when he wanted to leave, were you? How old were you about? I think like uh, ten or eleven. Ten or eleven, yeah. yeah. And you were the baby. Yeah. So the, the children baby, were. I'm just watching what they doing. Oh, now I remember. Yes. Yeah. The children were raised, and he. Yeah wanted to follow his heart, uh -huh. but, uh, but to respect your mother's wishes, he yeah, stayed. Uh, yes. Uh, what happened to him? Then he passed away after dead when I was 14. When you were 14? No, I, I think I, yeah, I went to East Tibet um, to study Tanda painting. Um, that is the one I was 16. After that, I didn't see him. He passed away one during the I was in East Tibet. Dur during? One hour in East Tibet. When you were in East Tibet? Tanga painting, you know. I see. Uh, 
What do you know? What he what caused him to pass? Uh, in stomach. Stomach. Uh, yes, yeah, stomach problem. Uh -huh. We don't know exactly what stomach had uh -huh. problem is. So, so if we go back, we know he didn't want you to go to the Chinese school. Yeah. And so, what schooling did you have? I only had village school. You only had village? Yeah. And it was taught by Tibetan people? Yes. Uh -huh. So also, that was... teacher was ex monk That's why my father knew him each other. That's why he taught him. Okay. And he felt safe. So, yeah. how, like you were in school for how long? Like three? I entered school, I think, when I was seven till I was 14. Seven to 14 yes, in the village school? 14 I entered the monastery. And at 14, you entered the monastery? Yes. Okay. I'm uh, the first young, uh, first, second, um, first monk after the Cultural Revolution. Really? Destroyed, yeah. From your village or where? From my village, yeah, you can tell from my village. Uh, Two of my, one of my friends and me were together first. Uh, did your father, was he alive when you did that or he had passed away? He lied. Then. He was alive. Yeah. What did he think of your wanting to be a monk? Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you. You know, um, my monastery destroyed completely. You know, and then I'm sorry, uh, say, I, I didn't this hear. cultural revolution destroyed the whole temple. Yes. And then, in '82, I think um, they got permission to rebuild or restoration, re mm -hmm. restore. And uh, then. All damage, you know. Then my art teacher, he's from East Tibet, pretty far. And um, then we invite our monastery, invite him to my monastery to the restoration. Mm -hmm. And then our Lama, he went from our village to study with him. That's why he asked my school teacher. Who's better? We need someone. Young kids can learn from this master. We need some kids because they're um, monk together before this Chinese history monastery. And then my teacher pointed me because when I was when teacher teaching, I'm not paying attention with him. I'm drawing, <laughs> copying some designs. That's why my teacher knows I'm interested in the painting. Yeah. Uh-huh. Isn't that Drawing. It? Yeah. You and then my our Lama asked my father and perfect for him. He's waiting for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, your father loved that idea. Yes. Uh-huh. Then he's did so was the the restoration that they were going to do in your village mm -hmm. of the monastery, were the Chinese permitting this or approving of this? Restoration? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they gave permission. They gave permission. They gave permission. They yes. gave permission. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so they gave permission, and, and so did they send for somebody to come and do it, or was somebody in the village who could do it? Restoration? Yeah. Yeah, mm, if someone like uh, what I said, painter, we don't have any Enter in my village. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to invite my teacher from all the way east to that. Okay, that was before he was your teacher. Yes. Uh, they sent for before this. My, yeah. He, they sent for this special right, yeah. person. Mm -hmm. Can are you are you able to give me his name of this teacher? Yeah. What is his name? Uh, Lama Sekje. How do you spell the last T? T S A. K Y A B, I think. A B. Take up. Okay. Lama, take up. T S Y T S A K Y A P. Yes. Um, and so they sent for him from Kham. Yes. They invite my monastery invite him to him to come to restoration. And I studied with him. And then when he left after this project, and then my monastery sent me to East Tibet again to finish, co accomplish all my learning painting. And they, did At that time, I lost my father. Ah. Yeah. Did they send you to go after that teacher and study yes. with him? Uh -huh. After teacher left, after one year. After Tisa left, 
Did you go to a, a city in Kham? No, to... no city. It's a country. It... There's no art school that time. Mm. I have to study with his family, live with him. Live with his family? Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, and when you were uh, in, sent to study with this master, what did your father think of this? Well, it's a little hard that time no one um, traveled that far that long, you know. Yeah. And uh, I decided my decision, they never forced me. That time it was pretty far. And also that time, they're so scared to keep sending to East Tibet. That is, a, how to say, a um, little bad reputation. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is scared of Kampas. I don't know why, I don't know at all. Anyway. What, were the, <laughs> what, what was scary about the compass? What, what, why Kampas were they scared? Kampas through Ratwa, this is someone killing. When I go there, and let us still remember, my master prepared to <coughs> go, go with protection. You put something precious, and that protected I still have that. Talisman. A talisman. <laughs> yes. A protective uh -huh. deity. Yeah, then my sister and my mother, I still remember when I lived, they are crying. And my father came to help me, and I would say, take me to find someone go with me from Plaza. That way, that time was a very bad uh, transportation, you know, there's not much car, very bad road, you right. know. Um, it's very far away. Yeah. And, and your age at that point was? 16. Like, you were 16, but so. But I was very small. But you were small. <laughs> yeah. And they don't have that. Yeah. So this is 19, like 1985. Yes. And you were 16. Yeah. A small guy. Yeah. <laughs> and how? Even I cannot <coughs> make my bed. You know, you have to carry everything with you, you know. Oh my gosh. Did you find a, a strong guy from Lhasa to go with yes. you? Yes. You I found someone, you know, who go with us. That time, very bad <coughs> transportation. It takes 13 days to get there. Walk? No. Horseback? Um, you know, some road is very bad, some um, certain place you have to walk, cars and just with the light uh, bags. Yeah. So, 13 days, I'm, was to, it walking and driving? To get there, driving. We have car, but <coughs> very bad situation, road is very bad, you know. When I get there, um, oh when I'm thinking coming back, I couldn't sleep. But road is very bad, a lot of uh, damaged car, you know. Yeah. Very, very rugged, very yeah. rough. And did you have any scary experiences on the way? Any problems? Mm, not, uh, yeah, as a, also that car doesn't have permission to take people. A truck, 30 people on the truck. Oh you know, like this truck, you cannot bring people, you know. And then you have to hide during the night, uh, during the day, yeah. and the night you're traveling. Right. You had so to avoid scary, yeah. uh, Chinese soldiers. Uh, avo uh, police, avoid I think. Police. Police soldiers, yeah. More police. Yeah. And so you didn't have your own car, you just hitchhiked. Oh, there's a, not hitchhiked. There's some. Do you build a small rent? Yes, yeah, small rent. Some people taking um, business with that, you know. Passengers. Yeah, passengers. So you. A truck, no bus that time. Wow. Yeah. So this is. Was it. Uh, so it was a total of 13 days for you yes, to get there? Yes, I get there, yeah, 13 days. By going on trucks or yeah. vehicles or anything like that? Yeah. Uh huh. And was your companion a monk or was he just a strong protector? Who was your, the man who went oh, with you? Oh, one Kamba. Oh, he was? A monk, yeah. He was a Kampa? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what happened when you got there? Then I got uh, safely and I started, and then the problem is I lost my father. While you were there? Yes, when I was there. And my parents sent a letter about my father passed away, but I got that maybe after years. Not I, my uh, teacher received it. Then he heard about all news my father. Then teacher didn't give letter to me because he 
He doesn't want me being sad that because of my father's past or the past. Then he didn't give me the letter. I find out to, till I get back home. Oh. When I got home, I asked everybody there except my father. I asked my mom, where's the daddy? Then she started crying. Oh. Yeah. Uh. He was afraid you would be... That time was no fun, no. Yeah, you would be so yeah. sad. Yeah. Where you did... And and so, how many years passed? You you were... Used to that? Uh, that you were... Uh, no, when you left at 16 to mm -hmm. study with a master, how long were you there? I came back and when I was 18. So two years? Two years, yeah. Wow. Two years and a half, yeah. Two years. So you had no correspondence with your family during no, those two no years? No, no. Oh boy. Uh, tell me about your life learning to be a. Was it a Tonka painter? Was that the. T what were you learning? I entered. When I come back, and then I learn uh, all monastic thing and then restoration together in the monastery. During those two years, that's oh, what. No. During two years is just every day uh, memorizing uh, monastic uh, three exam. First one is 108 pages, because you have to memorize. Morning and evening, I do that, and they during the day, every day drawing. Really? No weekend, only two days off, uh, summer and uh, two, three days off, and then New Year, that's all. Oh, my <coughs> goodness. So, memorizing morning and night, mm -hmm. and then in the afternoons, drawing. Yes. What were you drawing or painting? I said painting like deities. Deities. Yeah. And and uh, can you tell us about that? Like, what kind of paints did you use? Uh, how did your teacher show you? Give can you give us a description of these art classes? Yes. Um, that first one we learn um, drawing so with the stick and the black board. Yeah. And then with that years only stick on the board, you know, chalk and the blackboard. It would be like a, a charcoal stick. Yeah, charcoal stick. Uh -huh. Charcoal stick. Mm -hmm. No, stick. actually they make it like a board. Sometimes Special. they put like some kind of grease. Okay. And then you put white. like ash or any white powder. Got it. So then you draw on that. And you draw on that yeah. substance. That's one year. Wow. <laughs> a whole day. One year um, after breakfast to um, dinner. Wow. That's and a whole one year I did that. And, and the next year I did that with the brush you can use on the paper. Okay. Because uh, okay. uh, how to, you can learn how to use the brush ink with ink and uh, paper. Mm -hmm. And then gradually, if you put in good with those two, and then to ask you to help his painting tankas. First is the painting uh, sceneries, and then more and more come closer de uh, details. Clouds. Scenery. Maybe I know you have a tanka painting with with you. Could we? Could you show us like what you would learn how to paint first on yeah. this tanka? What would you learn first? First, we do more uh, sceneries, uh, sky and earth. Uh -huh. and then cloud, and then bigger cloud, and the later, later, a uh, couple of months, then come detail more, and then body, and cloth, and then latest is the opening eye. Really? And then, those all done, then you can do paint yourself. Okay. Yeah. So, the first thing you're doing is drawing it. Drawing, drawing, yeah. And are, when you do the, a drawing of a Tonka painting like this one, what are you drawing with? With a pen, a pencil. Pencil, yeah. A pencil. Pencil, and we use also chocolate, so so like the so charcoal, charcoal, charcoal mm -hmm. stick. You know, we uh, make our own charcoal. And so, so you start out with clouds and flowers and mm -hmm. simple things, right? Yeah. And then you're allowed to do your first one. What kind of paint are you using, or is Most, it ink? Uh, um, ink all. Um, Pigment, mm -hmm. most rock painting we call it Tonsen. Okay. I don't know how to use this here. P 
pigment, pigment or ground. stone color we said. Okay. In Tibetan we call it stone color. I think you use here. Stone pigment, color. Right? Ground. You grind it. Stones, yeah. mm -hmm. And also when you're doing the drawing on the board, mm -hmm. you have to help how to uh, stretch the canvas. Yes. Have to teach you know, that you have to learn right. during the you know, your drawing on the board. Uh -huh. And these, if we look at the colors on this beautiful tanka that you're working on, mm -hmm. are, are you still working on this or is it finished? This is finished, yeah. It's beautiful. It looks very finished. What, what are some of the uh, pigments? Where do they come from? Like, where does the blue sky pigment come from? This is, um, those are the most painting I bought from here. Um, here, special. Um, you bought paint. Yeah. Okay. In the uh, states. Yeah, something. There's a. It's called the Bioshield, The import from Germany. I think those are all pigments. They're all pigments. Yeah, they're pigments. Uh huh. And you mix Mixing them with. With the. Uh, in Tibet, we use yak skin glue. Oh really? But here, I use the rabbit hair glue. Uh huh. You mix them with glue. Yes. Yak skin glue. Uh -huh. Wow. How do they get the glue from the yak skin? <laughs> <laughs> they will boil it and boil it. Boil and like jelly, right? In case we want the recipe. <laughs> you have to have a yak. Yes. And you have, to, uh, you have to obviously kill the yak, I assume. An old oh, yak. Yes. <laughs> An old yak. Seriously. Yeah. And then yeah. you boil. Um, this is, people will not know this in the future. Yeah, yeah. Boil, boil like, you know, turn like jelly. Yes. That is the glue. That's Check the out all oil. Out. Okay. With all, all the grease and, and everything out, boil it for a long time. It boil, boil, almost boil. turns into like a jelly. Like a jelly. Then let it dry, and then you can use it anytime yeah. you need. Really? Oh, yeah. And and it's it, it's sort of sticky and solid, mm -hmm. like like a like a lard or yeah. something mm -hmm. like that. And so then. Come to the If you leave it, it will be dried out. Dried out. Also, you can cut like small pieces oh, and then force it, it, then dry and soft dry. And you frost it. Okay. Frost like dry. freeze dried. <laughs> freeze dried. <laughs> Thank you. But it can dry. And then how do you make it moist again? What do you add? Water. You add water? Yeah, so water. One night. Hot water? Yeah, one night, then tomorrow it's just turn. This is an important Jelly recipe. Again. I could use it someday. <laughs> uh, so hot water, and uh, it'll loosen it. And then you add pigment to it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And can you name some of the colors? Uh, that are your favorite colors that you use in Tonka paintings? Ram, we call that. Indigo. It's indigo. Ram, yeah. yeah. I like that uh, line. I indigo is beautiful. Uh -huh. What else? And then Bang is a uh, green. Green? Mm -hmm. This is a special name for the um, color. Bang actually means the lawn. The lawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you, where do you get the green from? How is it made, that pigment? Turquoise sometimes. Oh, from turquoise? We don't know any, but sometimes like there's green turquoise. Green turquoise, so you, it, yeah, yeah, it, it's green. ground stone. Uh -huh. Ground yeah. stone, yeah. It's the ground stone. White, the carpet is just like White, they call the Nima I don't know English how to call it. Anyway, white. And that, that you have to heat it up, yes. burn it, and then take it out and ground it. So very good white. Very and good. Dore. 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 Yeah, it's kind of stone. It's white a white stone. stone. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You grind it. It's very, it's very opaque. Yeah. I imagine. It's a beautiful white. Uh -huh. yeah. And you do you use that to soften the colors then, like if you have indigo dark. Yeah. And those, then you add white and it makes it softer, more subtle? Yeah, five uh, basic color and then all mm, make different with the like white. Oh, really? And the indigo is uh, making line, final. Line? Line. Oh, uh, you make a drawing yeah. line? Uh, like here, yes. more than art is the uh, de detail that brings with the shading. You know? Yes. In Tibetan, this art is the mm, final. Um, bring with the uh, uh, line. That's the why line is each color uh, has a different um, line, different color line. A different color line. That's a good color. Can you show us here? Like this is a 
maroon and uh, right. red and the orange uh, line like. is uh, maroon. Yes. Like um, blue, this is a line with the indigo. Oh, I see, yes. With the indigo. Mm -hmm. And is that the white, the flowers? Is that the, uh, the white stone? Yes. Ground this is stone. The white stone ground. Yes. So you said there, like, tell us there are five, you said there are five basic yeah. colors. Can you show us on here the five basic, which ones? We call the um, white. The white one we have. Yellow. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, red. Mm -hmm. And green. And green. And blue. And blue. Yeah. Where do you get the uh, red from? Um, from. It's also kind of like stone, red stone. It's a stone. Red stone. Yeah. I don't know what you call it in. When you it's also, also medicinal used for the medicinal purpose. Okay. Yeah, we use when people break arm or some, they can use for the bone fractures. Oh, it fixes the bone. Mm -hmm. It heals yes, the so. bone. Yeah. Uh huh. So there's so we know the white is a stone. The yellow is also a stone. Yellow is also stone. Yeah. These are all stones, yeah. and they're ground. And the green is a stone, like yeah. turquoise. You said, yeah. And the blue is the indigo. Uh, indigo. Yeah. Also, we use uh, lapis lazuli. There's some other similar... Lapis, stuff, yeah. like lapis? Lapis lazuli. Yeah. Lazuli, yes, it's a beautiful color. Yeah. Lapis lazuli. I have no idea what it is. Lapis lazuli, beautiful, yeah. uh, beautiful color. So good, so then, so I see you have the basic colors mm -hmm. and then also you have to outline them. Yeah, basic colors and the, all those uh, each, each basic color make a, a lighter, five different kinds. Five different... Yeah, but shapes, 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 not really um, mm -hmm. limit number, you know, all different kinds. And then combinations of yeah. those five colors, would you say you only used five colors in this? This is uh, pretty simple, I don't know exactly why or not. Uh -huh. yeah. but, uh, and most all of them here. Yeah, yeah. Most all of them are there. The pink looks unusual, how would you... Yeah, that's uh, unusual, this is I used different color. Yeah, this is good. not <laughs> Tibet, I don't recognize this, yeah, this one. Is my, my friend, he wants this color. In Tibet, I don't know why. They don't like this color much. Is that right? It's yeah. like a magenta. A uh, not everybody, but some of my older teachers, they don't like this color, I still remember. Is that right? <laughs> what color, what would you call that color in English? I don't know, this how to call it in English. Pink. Like pink. Yeah. It's like a pink cerise. Uh -huh. It gets a little they bit... They think that's a female color. It's a female color. <laughs> I don't know. In, in this country, too, pink is considered a color right. for little girls. Right. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, so they don't like it. So that's really interesting. What is the hardest uh, part to paint, do you think, in that tonka? What would you... Tell us what's the easy part, and then what gets hard, and then what's very hard. And can you point to it so we can I'm see? Just the uh, easy part is the field... Uh, on the line. Show us where. Feeling, just a feeling that's, uh, you know, line. And then ours is different. First, feeling, all feeling line, and then shading. Shading. Yeah, the most difficult part is the line and the opening eyes. <gasps> By opening Open eye, you mean the eye, eye of the Buddha right there? Yeah. Oh. Painting eyes. And the lines, uh, you know, you cannot do like this. You have to go all one. All one breath. stroke. If you miss something, then already damaged. Wow. Then you have to do again, you know. That's why this is that's why I said here Western art and uh, Tibetan are different. Very different. Here they bring the shade brings also they you can look from the far away distance. That look better. Mm -hmm. Ours uh, you can see closer, then you can see more detail. Mm, the d yes, you see yeah. the detail close up. So like that's gold, why also we call the city golden design. Ornaments. Oh, yeah. yeah the, put in it, it's the, like the. You mean the dress, the rope? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is also you have to do sort of free hand. You know, not first, um, not pencil and just uh -huh. to direct it from design from brush and go. So the hardest part is the opening of the eye. Is that yes. what it's called? Uh -huh. And Change what does that mean? Putting actually in the eye of the Buddha, put, drawing it. Mm, yeah, but this eye is line. We call it the Jin Jie by making line to bring the eye open. There's a pupil, the pupil. Yes. 
those things that you, if you little bit mistake then it's the most we said eye and the face is the most important. Yeah. So if you really go close to the eye, very, very close, you can see. Oh yes. That's very delicate. And uh, I would like to say now those things it's a really takes time. For example, in Tibet, it's really rare now, really, who does it correctly. And also here, when I came here, I see um, some practitioner, most a lot of practitioner brings me tanka, ask me, then, what do you think? This that's a lot of fake tankas, so sad. The proportion, the proportion, right. and. Yeah. Uh, Little bit, you know, thin and fair, little bit is okay, but some of them completely mistake. We have uh, three kayas, Samogai, Nirvana Kaya, uh, Dharma Kaya, those three big different, like uh, um, the sugar in the German is uh, the Dharma Kaya DT, is, uh, there's a no rope, some of them, they put the rope. Oh. Some um, Sambhava Kaya, 13 ornaments, they put completely no 13 no, organs. In, in the in the deities. In the deities. And some Shadjitubhan Jogu, Jogu Chesoro. Nirmana Kaya. Nirmana, they put the Sambhava Kaya ornaments for that. The so, and then one day when I was um, demonstrating painting on the um, art market here, yeah. And the one guy bring uh, with the camera, he showed me one picture of Tanga. He said, what do you think this Tanga, 13th century or something? He said, all, I said, that's a fake. Because I don't want to uh, uh, make him sad, how to say. But this is my responsibility to tell the truth. Yes. We just, I'm an artist here, I'm trying to preserve our culture. And then, oh, it's difficult for me, <laughs> but he's, He's really sad. He said, you don't know nothing about this. I said, okay, sorry. <laughs> you did your best. Yeah, I did my best. To tell the Some truth. Some of my friends also oh. bought one tanka. Then he showed me, completely wrong. <gasps> like one tanka is, we call the Tsongkhapa Lama tanka. Uh -huh. And uh, Tsongkhapa Lama's uh, mudra has to be like this. Uh -huh. This is a Chankurja, is a teaching mudra, right? Yes. They did like this hand. <gasps> No, non pen this. This is a, we call the, in my ministry, we do this mudra is for the effigy. Take me with you. <laughs> Take me. <laughs> effigy mudra. That's so sad, doesn't that? One <coughs> my friend bought one, five tankas from some practitioner in Santa Fe. And then he asked me, I said, that was completely wrong. I explained one by one. Then he said, I don't want this, do something. I said, I want to keep this. I want to show my students. Even they cannot learn. Yeah. They most of their practitioner, you know. They even they cannot learn painting, but they can learn how <coughs> to get perfect object for their meditation object. Mm -hmm. That I keep those. I still have. That I said I keep those, but I can use uh, uh, brocade. How to say that? Brocade. The brocade borders. Borders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then in Tibet also same thing. There's a lot of um, gift shops. Are you know those really digital painting like this? It costs a lot. Of yeah. course, you know I spend time. It's a one by one layer layer. It's a really takes time. And then there's a lot of fake tanga for the tourists uh -huh. from Nepal, from China, or I don't know where. Yeah. Most of from Nepal. So bad. Then tourists then just to see. I'm, so my friend showed me also recently one mandala. Mandala this in just a square and round, then they put the completely wrong. In our mandala, each line, each um, circle, everything is there's different deities, different mandala, different design, different symbols, mm -hmm. different six syllables. All oh, that's off. So sad. Oh yes. Yeah. How? Uh, how could people recognize whether That's some... That's what I'm trying to do.
painting class. Uh -huh. If someone learn painting is good, even uh -huh. if you cannot learn, still they can. I'm teaching them what is the which you know, uh -huh. what the line, uh -huh. stupa and mandala and deities. Yes, you're t trying to yeah. teach it. Someone said this is just art. You're not uh, using for the meditative option mm -hmm. object. Mm -hmm. Is I think is fine. You can be just art. Could be anything, but. Right. Or is everything have to be correct in the book and uh, it's everything said in the book, you have to be correct. I see. So you really, for those two years, one whole year just of drawing so you can draw a perfect, yeah. so like that perfect circle around the Buddha's head mm -hmm. and around the Buddha's body, mm -hmm. do, you have, do you do that by hand? Yeah, or? you can do, um, now this day you can use that, how to say, compost. The compass. Compass, but ancient that time when I was kids, you cannot. I don't have compass. I just <laughs> have to do it. <laughs> you had to do it by hand. Yeah. If you learn, not that difficult. It's not First, on also when starting, we had to use proportion. Right. Yeah, and then you practice with that. When you learn the years, then you don't need even dot. I can make dot exactly same. The eye um, and the mind. Yeah. Are trained. Mm -hmm. I see. That's wonderful. Yeah. So to to hear about the story, you you came back uh, and found your father had died. Yeah. And so you, what happened to your to you at that point? Were you it's shocked? A, it's a really shocked. And then I cry, oh. cry, cry, but it's a cry, it's a cry. Yeah, you cried. Yeah. Of course, you were so sad. Yeah, of course, he had a hard time because he didn't see me. I'm the youngest kid, yeah. you know, to say. Yeah. yeah. But do you think your father would have been proud of you? I think so. He sent some letter when he's alive, you know, in his Tibet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that meant a lot to him that you yeah. studied. And then what happened when you came back to your, t to your village? Your village. Yeah, um, I already entered my monastery, you know, then I came back to the monastery. Then I studied all this, um, Monastic ceremony, things. ceremony, everything I learned. At, at right in your in your area. In the monastery. In the monastery. Yeah. In your town. Mm -hmm. So the Chinese were letting you at that time yeah, become yeah. a monk. Yeah. Did the you have to get permission? Yeah. Yes. From whom? From government. The government. Yeah. Is that what? What's that process like? That process is not that difficult. That time is easy. At that time, okay. Yeah. And then. I get opportunity to go Italy. How? Um, some institute invite me and uh, to teach Tibetan tanga painting, and then I have to go get the passport. That time is so hard. Mm. As there's a, like here, you can go just the post office field from take picture. That's all, right? Over there, you have to go, I think, down first uh, permission from monastery, of course, uh -huh. and then village, Xiang, Tong Su Sigla, and then from Xiang, and then Xian, then Zhen, then from Lhasa. Six the county, six district, of them I then state, go. and the federal. I think when I make a passport, I've been more than 15 times. Oh my goodness. Like, if I go all like this, how to say, procedure, procedure. They, when I get up, they said, come go down. Then I try to ask from bottom, how to say, one mm yandrana, -hmm. and then they said, stop, from, they said, don't, you cannot give permission. Like that, part of the got to Always like trying to blame each other. I realize I'm the only who has more time because that time I only, Thinking about that. Some other people doesn't have that time. Exactly. Also, you have to go travel. That time travel, we don't have a car on car, you know, you have to hitch out. Uh -huh. Really hard. Then finally, I go from bottom, they say, you have to go ask uh, top. If I go top, they say, you have to come all uh, <laughs> step by step. Step by step. <laughs> One day I said, <coughs> tell me the reason. I don't have time that much. Also, I'm not rich people. Yeah. I cannot pay this much for my travel. 
Tell the truth, I want to answer. If you cannot give permission, tell the truth, I want to answer who invited me to that institute. Then there's, is there, there's a no reason, no reason. Why do you don't not, you're not giving? And then you have to come back from there. I told him, if I go down there, they said, you stop it. From, you said that you cannot give permission. Then he said, then the final, I asked him really hardly, then they said, okay, go, I called him. And finally I got it. I think I did it more than 15 times. Oh my goodness. Just to get a passport. A lot of people losing their opportunity yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because they can't, it's so long of a process. How long did it take, about a month, a year, or what would you say? I did years. It took yeah, a half, year? Yes. To get permission? Yeah, to, to, get, Just to, to, get, a to get a passport only. It took one year? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, uh, who invited you? One institute in Italy. In Italy? Yeah. And how did they know about you? Uh, one of their uh, directors came to Tibet. Then they see my skill, then he asked me. I went to Tibet. Invite. Invited, invited you invited, invited, yeah. to go. And what did, the, what, did they, what did you do when you went to Italy? Can you say I what? Taught. You taught? I taught uh, Tibetan painting, and uh, I taught the middle school how to make Tibetan mask. Oh. And I learned a little bit English and Italian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Did you do any uh, Tonka painting while you were there? Yes, I did Tonka painting and a lot of statues too. And statues? Yeah. You made, you're a sculptor yeah. too? Sculpture with ah, the clay. With clay? Yeah. Uh-huh. And where did you learn that? Hmm. You know, basically it's our, it's, I didn't learn really sculpture, but uh, drawing and the proportion is very important. Yes. Then I have to learn in the monastery how to make the tormas. Right. And then uh, if you know proportion, and then not that hard. I uh, didn't learn really specific uh, sculpture. Uh, just for people who don't know, tell them what a torma is. Torma is an offering for the deities, like monastery. So what do they look like? A um, lot, lot of different shapes, and at first like uh, with the barley. And then ornaments with the butter, different colored butter. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're very beautiful, and <coughs> they're very they're very elaborate, different shapes uh -huh. with butter. Yeah. That are made with butter yeah. and and sculpted and painted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, did you work on any uh, frescoes or anything in Italy? Did you do any work there, restoration of any of um, their work? No, I didn't do there. I did. Sad. I learned a little bit. That's why they, my friends, they organized for me to uh, start a restoration here. That's why my um, teachers are from America. That's why I came here to start a restoration. Okay. Uh, then, uh, so that's good. You, you, you came to America to study restoration. Mm -hmm. what, what city did you go to in Italy? Uh, I went to Italy, uh, Rome. To Rome. Rome and uh, Florence. And Florence. Florence, yeah. Oh, what was it like for you to see Florence and Rome? It's amazing. The uh, Michael, how does it? Michelangelo. Michelangelo's painting. I really like his. Did you like yeah. Michelangelo's work? Yeah. He was a good Tonka painter. It's a really <laughs> good painter. Yeah. What were some like of your favorite color. as a as a Tibetan artist? What kind, which paintings moved you the most that Michelangelo did? It's uh, like a uh, uh, history of Christian deity, like uh, Jesus, uh, those things, Madonna or... The so Madonna. Nice, yeah. uh -huh. Did you see the Sistine Chapel? The Sistine Chapel in the Vatican, the paintings on the ceiling? Yeah, I saw this, I bought a lot of his books too. You bought a lot of his yeah. books? So you like Michelangelo. Were there any other artists? Uh, uh, I Italian? don't know. I saw a lot of different, but that um, I don't see much the language. That yeah, I it know. was hard. Yeah. That's wonderful. How long were you in Italy? Um, I was there almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. Oh, then you really got beautiful exposure yes. to Western art. Uh -huh. Isn't enjoying the great 
painters and, and uh, fresco painters too yeah. in Italy. Uh, uh, what did you bring back with you when you went back to Tibet? What did you take with you in your mind or heart? One thing I brought is um, like in Tibet, also Chinese destroyed monastery all old um, 700, 600 years mural painting. They destroyed, you know. And then some we still left there. And then they do restoration as if, for example, uh, this is temple. If one corner is damaged, rest of them all, but still Chinese destroy already, you know. We also still destroy. They don't want the restoration correctly, and um, and they instead of they should restoration on the corner, they destroy completely, then build completely new. That's really sad to me. Also, when I was there, I didn't know value how uh, ancient. How to say that? To I, the I, I learned those from Italy. They are how keep their antique. The antique, the yeah. original. Yeah, original. Ah, in Tibet, they destroy completely, but still there's a temple and mural painting only. You know, yes. inside the statue, precious things completely gone. And uh, still there's a mural painting in the my monastery, a lot of monastery they did. When they get pr uh, permission to rebuild, they destroy completely, build completely new. The dam is the only corner. Then that's why I taught a lot of my friends, don't do that. Mm -hmm. How they keep mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. And when I come to America, I learned those a lot. I taught them how important to Restoration, how restoration. to keep those, how value. Right. Even I taught, uh, yeah. I just said, Ringo Jus, you got against them. They mean, they won't you are, but the Ringo Jus, Ringo Sun Jus, and I was your own. I think it's a uh, cultural protection. Cultural protection. I want to say, I know my uh, county's um, guy. Yeah. I told him about that. Did you? Their responsibility, you know, to tell. That or Chinese already gave the permission, but I we're still destroying. Archaeological department. Mm -hmm. So, if if there's a little destruction, don't destroy the whole building and yes. start over. Better keep that keep precious that and corner the and build from it. Yeah. And keep it there because it's a precious um, uh, historical artwork. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so you learned in Italy, they yeah. don't tear a building down if it's a little yeah. damaged, they, they protect it. Mm -hmm. And also I see, um, I started to really put it hard from when I was um, 14 years old, you know, till now. But still I cannot uh, gender my Perfect. Perfect, like some as a really good as old one. Yes. That's a really special. My whole my life I spent with that, but still not perfect. That's why those old ones are really special to me. In my monastery, we do have really old mirrors still. Do you? During the founder, um, how to say, um, when they built the monastery, since that, the it's original, 400 years old. 400 years old. Still very good. That's why it's so special. Yeah. So even with all your training, you mm -hmm. couldn't begin to do yeah. what they did. So that's yeah. why you want to preserve it. Yeah, that's and why it's so important. How, did, were you able to get permission to work and and preserve it? In, in your in Tibet? Yeah. Those things, I, I think I, we can, yeah. You think so? No, problem is, um, if you work hard like that, spend time, you can. But now is the most economic uh, competition. That's why those things no one can pay. That's why we are losing. Competition is uh, like this day, Chinese pays some certain money for the uh, village people to build a house. Right. And the rest of them you have to pay. And then you have to build a new house. Then this is a sort of a competition. Right. Then they hurry with that. 
if you spend time for like this kind, they cannot make money. That's that they have to do another job. That's why no one really interested in learning time with those things. Right, right. Yeah. It, it, it's... Like, this is, I don't know, they're really their uh, trick or I don't know, their uh, one way, their competition with the building house, uh -huh, uh -huh. new house. Yes. One way they're also buying ha a car. Uh -huh. I, we can government pay this much for you to buy a new car. You have to buy pay rest of them. Sort of big competition. Big competition for the arts and just normal things mm -hmm. like houses or cars. Yeah. So money might be available is what you're saying from the Chinese government. Yeah, this is sort of influence from that. That's why they don't really interested, not everyone, but uh -huh. some, most of them busy with that. We're talking about most of them being Tibetans living yeah. in, in their areas. Mm -hmm. What about um, what about Lhasa? And can the Tibetan government in Lhasa, whatever is left of it, can it, or even, even in exile, can they supply any money for restoration? From outside? Mm -hmm. It's difficult now sending money. It's difficult, send it's difficult money to, to send money that, into yeah. Tibet mm -hmm. for restoration. Yeah. Wow. So that the money that the t Chinese government would any, give... Any helps from out of country now, they, they're always checking. Uh -huh. So my friend said recently. The watch One out there? Close. No, you can. I send some. I also try to... I did to open small art school, but kids... People not really interested. They can't make money yeah, they, on it. I cannot pay for the student, you know, I can yeah. pay for the teacher. Yeah. That's why then they're busy. Also, when I was there, average there, regular people payment is 15 yuan. This day is 50. Jumped big. That's why it's a big difference. Really? They're so, I don't know that this is their trick or their making them competition, building house, or... Mm -hmm. So they're... Then they're th busy with that. They're, they don't have thinking of culture and country and... Yes. They're busy with that. The money's going to more everyday practical things mm -hmm. and not to saving the culture yeah. and the art. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Is the money coming from the Chinese government to help? Yes. That's why yeah. they pass this month I can pay. Right. The rest of them you have to pay. The rest. You have to work hard. Uh -huh. And, and even if people... Then they want that money. Because if you don't do, they, can, they don't get money, right? Right. Help from the government. Uh -huh. You have to do it. Yeah. You have to like, build it. The spending money, really, that's true. Very hard. Yeah, they get a lot of money. Some reason, you know, some people, uh, certain old age, they get some money for school education. A lot of money, I heard. But I don't know really our... How to say? Mm. Thinking of culture and mm -hmm. countries. Yes, I think, I think it's a hard choice for yeah. many people. They it's they true. like it's their culture, but they want their house. They want a car. Yeah. And they want and and if this, a young man needs a job, if he becomes a tonka painter, he can't make as much money. Yeah. Also, yes, same thing too. Like by myself, since I've been here, I always keeping my survive with my pending till now. I didn't do any other things. Right. I survived with this. A lot of like, like me, uh -huh. like Tashi too, they started a very good school. Yes. They learned very well, whole half of them, their life. And then when they get here, you have to do a completely new job. Survive. Right. Another kind of income. Yeah. So like you lose. Tashi, he learned from, yes. graduated from Varanasi. Now he's doing here, helping someone house yeah, yeah. like that. I like, I'm so far so good myself, so lucky. Yeah. I stay, survive with that and then that's why I'm always telling you use your culture with, with your, your life, mm -hmm. then more stable. Right. Not only one day party and the one day uh, gathering and that is mm -hmm. culture. 
so preserve. I don't see that. Mm -hmm. There's one day only, just to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. You want to to be this part. This country is so nice. Freedom, you can do. It's a hard first time, but yeah. you can do, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. You That's want people to really work on saving their yeah, culture. Culture and survive. You and can survive do something. that way. So, now, so far, so good myself. I keep my culture and just survive, you know. Yes. Do you go back, when you, when you are in, back in Tibet in your village or in the monastery and there are surviving um, frescoes, paintings? Mm -hmm. Can do you know how to restore them now? Yeah. How did you learn that? I that's why I came here to study restoration. Uh, so because after I know my basic drawing to uh -huh. better, uh -huh. then I came here to how to mix color, how to make all looking all those things I started here. I see. So after you were in Italy for two years mm -hmm. teaching and studying, yeah. you know there the art. Uh, then you went back to your village. Mm -hmm your monastery, and then you came here to America to learn how to restore? Yes. How, who, who taught you that, or where did you study that? One of my teacher, her name is Connie Constantina Silver or something. And uh, we got project here in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Ah. She got, I mean, then she invited me to help her. Uh, then I learned from her. And uh, in Las Vegas, there's a ranch. Huh. Natural American style mirror painting. Yes. Watercolor, exactly what we use. Really? Very similar. Very we work for that. Ah. I learned from that. Did you? I it, only need to learn how to mix color, how to do, you know, their style. Because I already learned our basic painting. Basic painting. Basic painting. Yeah. Just the mix. So can you take what you're learning here and, and take it back and try to preserve some of the mural? Yes, that's I did. You did? And uh, I taught that, uh, I also taught a lot of um, leader of monastery how important to preserve instead of destroying more right. and then build completely new. Right. I taught them how to do, right. how value. It, and uh, uh -huh. then I did there, but and then I have to leave uh -huh. one problem, um, unfortunately. Uh -huh. I have to Leave. Unfortunately, have to yeah. leave and go back. No, to come to, to come to you. Yeah, to come here. I see. Wow. So there's no easy way to save the paintings in a lot of the monasteries. People have to be trained, mm -hmm. right? You can't just. Can, is there any way you can put a temporary protection on a lot of the murals in the monasteries? Yeah. One thing's. Uh, um, if they, they if there's some left mirror painting, yeah. If they cannot do correctly mirror um, restoration, better leave it the leave way it, it is. The way it is. In mm -hmm. my monastery, uh, our master invite one um, painter, old guy, but he's not good. And then he tried restoration. We don't need complete change, but he doesn't know how to do restoration, and. Uh, I'm better than him, but I'm much younger than him. Yeah. He, our master is not a um, tanga painter. He's a good to other, but not painter. That's why he only believes age. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know any painting. Then he let him um, touch the restoration on the 300, 400 years old mural painting. Mm -hmm. That guy doesn't know anything. For example, like this mudra, he put Tom here. Uh. Completely wrong. Uh, then I'm then he lets me put uh, he put me in to to just the house painting. Uh -huh. All my students they know pretty well that they're so sad. And he couldn't listen. This is not Chinese for all <laughs> man. He doesn't care. And, and then he didn't listen to me. Then we so sad that I asked him, please. Don't put varnish on it. He didn't listen to me because he only listened to our boss, you know, as yeah. master. And yeah. uh, I think what he is trying to say is it's very important to educate the head of the monasteries yes. to yeah. keep the antique value what is still exist. Exactly.
to not, it's better to leave it alone yeah. than to try to fix it unless you're special. Yeah. That guy, what he did is he, uh, restoration small hole of people yeah. through the rock, you know. Then he, it's, he didn't have education to do restoration. Then he make, it doesn't match. And then he make bigger, 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 change everything. Oh. Not so bad. Oh, that breaks Then I asked him to put the varnish. Yeah. Then he did put the varnish. That's why I came here to set a restoration. Then my teacher said, what kind of varnish he put? There's the only big, strong uh, varnish, you know. Here, there's a lot of options. It's Subtle. name. We only had one varnish that time. Then I brought some, but then first I didn't have any sample. What kind of varnish? I said varnish is varnish. I thought it was only one, but there's a hundred different kinds. <laughs> And then my teacher said, bring some peace that I gave her, but then I didn't hear anything from her. Anyway, our uh, one, uh, you know, from the uh, temple, there's some four Dharma king. He damaged all those. Oh, the good. Oh, nice. Then he didn't believe me. One day, our um, university uh, art professor, uh -huh. he came to visit our monastery. And then he taught my, our leader, who damaged this? Uh. Then he's so sad. Then he probably regretted. He Too late. Too late. He recognized it. Yeah. How many? Uh, I, this might be a hard uh, question to answer, but how many people would you say might be living in Tibet who have had at least your level of training or higher? Oh, not a good question, but I don't know. That you have no idea. <laughs> I have no, no I idea. Mean, very, very rare. It's very rare. I see. And the Bargol has a Bargol, yeah. all tourists. Yeah. Now they can, but this, when I was there, uh, tourists, most good education Tanga Pandas inside, no one go inside much. Outside there's a bright uh, business, how to say that, Pandas are very fake, very bad, all those you can sell yeah. very well, because yeah. cheap, you know. Yeah. So there's no... That's a very rare and good education. So there's no um, way that that the best uh, educated Tonka painters uh, could kind of come together and start training other people or something like that under even under Chinese occupation. Is there any way to? Yeah, they they can do. They They're could, still doing some project, doing very well. They are. They're using stone color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're doing that. They're doing that, but still. You know, you, you, you mentioned something that I think maybe people aren't aware of, but uh, and it's important for me to realize too, there can be many Tonka paintings um, that are maybe a nice work of art, but the important thing is to use the Tonka painting as a meditation, object of meditation of the mind. It must be done to perfection. Yes, that's the our... Tradition. 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 Yes. Can you say a little more about that? Why why the relationship and the design is so important for the mental um, like as I'm saying evolution. ancient time uh, as I taught the level does all step by step. Yeah. Finally the teacher said now you can paint tanka. Uh -huh. Till that you cannot paint tanka because we said the yonda nimi for example, like a Buddha, like uh, there are 32 different symbols of an enlightened person. So each of every, like his parts of body, proportion, everything symbolize a enlightened person. So if you change that, then it cannot symbolize what you are drawing. And especially like ornaments and everything, their objects, they're holding, every those things have an explanation mm -hmm. and a reason. Yes. Then, I, it sounds like when you went to study mm -hmm. uh, with your master in Kham, you had to spend mornings and night time reading the scriptures and understanding mm -hmm. the spiritual... Yeah, and also special, the deity is... Uh, um, you have to have also monastic training a little bit. That's true, is the best. Some artists, they know how to draw, but they don't know any monastic. 
everything our uh, meditation object is uh, have to be corrected from the book right right that is the education only monastery I most see. Um, there is some but most in the monastery if you have both of those then it's uh, correct right i see yeah. so the most uh, we have two levels two. like uh, one is the xin chun is the painting house those things are fine you can just make beauty whatever you like as uh -huh. a bright as a you know yeah. and this is a uh, Detail is the Pladiba is the painting deities. This is a higher level. Uh -huh. And it requires a, certainly some monastic training yeah. and understanding of the mm -hmm. Dharma mm -hmm. and the teachings yeah. of the Buddha for you to really appreciate and understand what all this means. Yeah, I that's see. also some things that you only learn in the monastery too. Yeah, uh -huh. you only learn. Like, um, maybe we could, um, we could end by your giving us, if you wouldn't mind, an explanation of your painting. Mm -hmm. uh, for people who are just learning about Buddhism or are curious, could you describe what we're looking at in this Tonka painting? Could, yeah. could you know, we have a... Uh, we have a picture. Tonka Okay. Um, those now, as a scenery, also you can make uh, whatever you like. Those things sort of free uh -huh. option, or how to say, mm -hmm. you can make. Mm -hmm. But those things like rope, this is a shamtap, zen, sugar, those things you cannot change much. Mm -hmm. For example, you cannot make this green. Ah. Yeah, blue. Just more, more mean. That's Saffron. Saffron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, Shamtop. And also, if it's a uh, uh, medicine Buddha, uh, there's some eight medicine Buddha, but this is the uh, main medicine Buddha, it's always um, uh, blue. Blue. Why? Yeah. I think this is accomplishment we have for activity and accomplishment. There's a lesson. Also, book said everything. Binjuyan, Don Binjuyan, Laps Lazarbe. Loves lazily color on the book, or when you meditate, when you reading book, chanting, you have to. This is method to how to visualize those uh, changes. I see. So the b That's color blue a, represents change. Uh, accomplishment. To accomplishment. Me. You know, we so have for activity and um, accomplishment. Accomplishment. Yeah. I see. Okay. And what about this? What is the, the, the Buddha is holding? What is this? A uh, begging bowl and the uh, Arura king of earth. Arura is a fruit. Uh -huh. Fruit that is used for the medicine, and they are called that is the king of the medicine. Almost king every like medicine, Arura yeah. is used. And it's, it's, how do you say it again? Arura. 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 A-R-U-R-U-R-U-R-A. A-R-U-R-A. Yeah. And also sitting on the lotus and the moon disc. And the lotus. this is moon disc. Yes. This is always white. It's always white. Yes. Uh -huh. If it's wrathful, then it's then red and yellow. There's some. But the peaceful, always moon disc. Moon disc. And the lotus, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sitting on the lotus. What about the flowers? This one? Yeah. This isn't just a flower holding arura. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those things you can change whatever you like, flower, but arura has to be arura. Also this mudra and the nyamsha and the uh, chojin. Chok jin, is that what you It's blessing, right? Chok is jimba. Jimba is mata, jimba is the jimba. Generosity. Right. Generosity, mudra. And the, uh, in, in the and Buddhist, what is this? Ushnish <coughs> and jewel and Ushnish. Those things also, uh, he said, uh, 32. The symbol of enlightened. 32 sem symbol. 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 Uh, 32 good sign and 80, uh, how do you say? Symbol. Example. Example. 80. Those things you have to have. So if someone was meditating, 
especially on this medicine Buddha, mm -hmm. uh, part of the meditation comes from actually viewing the painting, viewing yeah. the tanka, taking it in. Yes, I think this is a um, method. Most were saying, um, how to say, every being is a uh, Buddha nature, right? Yes. This is uh, how to get, this is sort of method. A lot of people thought this is our, because the Zawadi is something. That's rude, but that's only object to generate your pure visions, visualizations. Yeah. Uh -huh. But in this meditation. Is method for us. To bring the skill. It's a method to bring method, it in. Uh, skill to find your Buddha nature. Uh -huh. This is that's why we have to have correct. Then, yeah. Yes. So this beautiful image allows one to try to find one's own nature, mm -hmm. Buddha nature within, yes. uh -huh. and this facilitates it yeah. by being perfect in yes in every way, uh -huh. proportion, color, yeah, and and what it represents in the Buddha Perfect, yes. nature. It's very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is a wonderful place maybe for us to thank you You're for welcome, this interview so. and, uh, and we wish you much success in helping preserve the art of, of the Tibetan people and especially uh, the Buddha nature in everyone thank that we'll you. see in these works. Is there anything that you wanted to say about uh, this interview or your work? I think that's a hope for people can understand my broken English yes. <laughs> and get to what I mean. Uh -huh. yeah. Is there what what are your hopes for Tibetan art? Um, correctly learning and uh, preserve our culture, whatever you know. One person doesn't need to know everything. But whatever you know, then keep that. Oh, that's very, very good. You don't have to know everything, but what you know, so. yeah. keep it. I'm myself Preserved. try to do this. What I know is only a painting. That's why, as I'm telling, like him, we have a lot of people in the mm -hmm. exile. They educate much more than me. They will do the what they know, to survive and uh, preserve. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do that, not perfect, but hope. I hope <laughs> to you are. Oh, well, we wish you well in, you. in your in your journey and in your life work. And thank you very much for you so being much. part of our interview yeah. today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.